flame heart. That big orange lab mouth in the sky. This simple to follow video guide is going to help you take him out solo in no time. Let's get right to it. First things first, supplies. I'd personally recommend you start off with a minimum of 70 to 100 cannonballs and 40 planks. You can start off with more, but I don't really think that's necessary. As you'll see, this event drops a lot of supplies, and by the end, you're going to have more supplies than you could possibly use. The Flameheart event consists of four different rounds. The first round, which is a basic round. The second round is the first boss round. The third round is another basic round. And then the fourth round is the final round, consisting of three bosses, including Flameheart. We'll go over each of them as we get to them. Why would you do this to me, Rare? There's one basic strategy that you want to follow throughout this entire event. And this is the most important part of the video, folks, so listen up close. Never get between the ships and the island. You see, the ships always go in the same circular pattern. They sometimes go in the opposite direction, but they stay in the same basic pattern. So you never want to get in between the ships and the island. You always want to stay on the outside. There's a couple reasons for this. First, you don't want to get rammed by the ships. If they ram you, they put massive holes, and it's really hard to recover from that. Also, if you get between them and the island, they get multiple angles to cannon you from, and nobody wants that. And another very important reason, too, is if you do get in trouble, you can turn out and get out of there, repair your ship, and get yourself back together, and then get back in the fight. So this is a basic, very basic strategy that you want to follow, and you only want to break from this when you want to go in and grab some supplies that are dropped or grab any loot that's been dropped. But get in and get out quick and get back to fighting when you can. Wave 1 is easy. It consists of basic ghost ships, just like the voyage that you get from the Order of Souls 10. Three shots each, and they go down. They also you only got to take out about 10 of these miraculous. to move on to the second wave. wave next wave now on to the second wave the first boss wave this wave consists of two boss ships each surrounded by two guards the guards are the same ships as the first round three shots each and you take them out the bosses each take 10 shots to take down. What I like to do is focus on the outer guards first. Once I take them out, I have a clear shot at the bosses as they come around. Take your time. Don't rush this. It's not worth it. I know you'll get frustrated sometimes waiting for them to come around, but it's worth the wait. Don't take a chance. Stay away from the inside. Stick to the strategy. It'll be worth it in the end. Crap on. Loot. loot time just be careful here make sure there's no other ships coming so you don't get rammed i got lucky here as you can see and the other boss ship is just passing by but don't mess around here make any repairs you have to get your loot as fast as you can and get out of there you don't want to get caught by another ship as they come around stop making me stuck game
supplies right there. We gotta sleep in front of us, but I think they're just avoiding any any kind of contact with anybody, so. Right around this time, the ghost ships are gonna start yeah, dropping Dr. extra supplies. That's indicated by those ghosts that you see flying above the water right there. It's just like the ghosts that are flying above the loot. I like to slow my ship down just enough so I can grab the loot with a harpoon without even stopping if I can. That's the best way to do it so you stay safe from getting rammed by the other ships. Oh, and that sloop that we saw, they weren't ignoring us. More on that in a second, though. Another thing I also like to do, and this might just be my OCD, but I like to grab the supply crates and put them by the cannonball barrel or by the mast. This way they don't get mixed in with the other loot and you can use the supplies as you need them. There's that other sloop we saw. One of the most important things you have to make sure you do when you're a solo slooper is watch your surroundings. You always want to be looking around, making sure no ships are sneaking up on you. Unfortunately for these guys, I've been playing this game for a while and they picked the wrong sloop to mess with. Let's take care of this real quick. How much longer could we last? Doesn't get awkward though. Actually, we don't want to get... We don't want to face off with both, against both. Nah, I'm not feeling it. Blood's are still in my favor. Ah, I get crapped on. We hit those. We hit those. I was born to rule the sea of me. I'm feeling it. Let's go. The question is, are you feeling it, sir? Doing it now, brother. Let's go. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. I'm driving right into the island. Is that us? Did we hit the island? Oh no, that's us. This is another ship. Is this the island? It is. Where's the ghost ship? Alright, we're fine. Come on, kegs. Come on, kegs. I guess they're not feeling it anymore, folks. What's up, brother? Not my ship. Nothing personal. We're just taking care of business here. Yo, what? Guys, we don't even have nothing. What is going on? You literally just attacked me. And then you taunted me. First? What are you talking you about? You taunted me. I heard not feeling it? Or was that somebody else? We was offering an alliance. Well, okay. I'm not into an alliance. I'm doing Flameheart. Go do another thing. I don't oh, do alliances. Oh, I'm sorry. You don't like pirating in your pirate game, sir? I can do just fine by myself. I don't need your alliance, guys. GG's. 
to fight. Am I smoking crack or do they not come right at me? The third wave is exactly the same as the first one. So I'm not going to spend any time on that. Turn, 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 turn. Turn, turn, turn. Not sure how you hit behind, but okay, okay. Ow, 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 I'm burning, I'm burning. Moss is up. Moss is up. Moss is up. Hey, yeah, go check out my YouTube. You get some nice tips on how to uh, beat these skeleton ships. They're not too bad if you're careful. You get a little cheeky though, you can get yourself in trouble. The biggest thing you don't want to do is get impatient. Finally, the fourth and final wave, Flameheart. The fourth wave consists of three bosses. Two underbosses, which are exactly like the bosses we fought in the second wave, and then Flameheart. Flameheart has five guards around him instead of two. But the same concept applies. The guards still only take three shots and take the outer bosses out first. Here's one key though. On the last wave, if you kill Flameheart first, the other bosses despawn and you don't get their loot. So make sure you take out the underbosses first and then take out Flameheart last. It's okay to take a couple pot shots at Flameheart as he takes 20 shots as opposed to 10 shots in the other bosses. So you're not gonna take him out by mistake. So take a few shots as he goes by, but make sure you take out the other bosses first and then finally take out Flameheart so you can get all the loot and maximize your profits going around but it's a good way to get claps it's a fine way to get clapped i think you guys get the idea by now i share with you all my best tips on taking on flame heart solo now it's your turn you're ready just remember stick to the plan be patient and you'll be swimming and loot in no time is that your name? I have questions. Do you have answers for me? Because I have some questions. Right, let's get him. Let's get him. Garbage. You're trash. You're trash. Oh, nice. All right. There you go. There's a story for everything. That makes sense now. Now, now I won't be up all night tonight trying to figure out why the hell this guy named himself Potato. Not Potato. My name's a nickname from when I used to play uh, Mortal Kombat with my brothers. Uh, you know when you get to the point where it says danger, danger? Well, I used to always come back and beat him, so they used to get salty and call me Danger Boy. So that's what that's for. I refuse to be defeated by you. That's where that's from.
but thanks. I didn't really make it, somebody else did, so like I said, my brothers made up the name, so it just stuck with me. It works. Let's cut behind him. He's running, he's running. Green Mara scared. We hit those. We hit those flame heart. I don't know why I keep calling them great now. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you guys find this helpful in your journeys. Also, I live stream on Twitch every weekday, starting at 9 a.m. So make sure you come by and say hi. Of course, remember to like and subscribe. I appreciate it. Till next time. We can hit our shots when we're looking away, and that's that. We got him, chat. We got him.